Welcome to another edition of Hey WT. Hey WT is a series of videos I do where I respond to viewer questions and comments. These viewer questions and comments, they revolve around your favorite operating system and mine, Microsoft Windows. And the first question I want to respond to is, Hey WT, why is Windows so much better than Linux? Well, Windows is so much better than Linux for a number of reasons. The biggest reason for me is that there's not just one Linux. Linux is confusing. There's like dozens of those things out there. I think the most popular one is that GNU Linux that a lot of those guys use. But, you know, another big reason is that Windows just has more software. Software availability is just much better on Windows. For example, Adobe. Adobe doesn't make Linux software. Think of all those Adobe products out there. They're all for Windows, right? They don't make that for Linux, right? Also, some of my favorite programs on Windows, they're not available on Linux. I know, for example, I use my registry cleaner every day. I use the old ultimate defrag tool every day. They don't even exist on Linux. Linux doesn't even know what the hell a defrag is. My favorite video editor, the video editor I use to make my content, Vegas Pro, Windows only software. And do we really need to talk about games? I think we all know professional gamers choose Windows. All the games run on Windows. They don't run on really any other operating system. Another area where Windows beats Linux is hardware support. For one thing, all of your gaming hardware, all your RGB light keyboards and mouse and you know the flashing lights and the firework show that goes on on your desktop all of that stuff it only works on Windows let's talk about security and privacy Microsoft Windows has it Linux doesn't also Microsoft Windows supports social media for example Facebook when I open Facebook you know it just works on Windows where Linux it might work it might not moving on to the next question hey WT should everyone adopt the subscription model that Microsoft and Adobe use for their products. Absolutely. I think that is the way to go. I hate paying a really large one-time fee for a piece of software. I want to break that up into still kind of big chunks of payments, but you know, on a more frequent basis. So I actually like these pieces of software that charge me a monthly subscription or in some cases a yearly subscription. I feel better about that because, you know, if I only pay for something one time, I pay for all of that use up front and that one payment, but then I may not use that particular piece of software. What if I only use that piece of software for six months and then I grow tired of it and I never use it again? You know, I, I want to make sure that I didn't, you know, pay for a lifetime fee for something when I'm only going to use it for a few weeks or a few months at most. So yeah, I like the subscription model. I think the big proprietary software companies like Microsoft and Adobe, they got that right. And what you really want to avoid when you're paying for your software is you never want to get trapped with free software because you guys see especially that Linux group of people out there you know what we call the free tards they want everything for free they don't want to pay for their software they just want all this cheap free garbage software you know no I want to pay I, I want to make sure that I'm paying a monthly subscription for something because I know that money is going to the people that deserve it in this case Microsoft and Adobe and I know they're going to put that money to use they're going to actually make that software much better and they're certainly going to make it much much more privacy focused and security focused. Moving on, hey WT, which search engine do you use? Well, this is an interesting question because I don't use just one search engine. I kind of fluctuate between Microsoft's Bing and Google because I think both Bing and Google, I think they're great. Plus, I, I really trust both companies, Microsoft and Google. You know, you know, I know that they're never going to do anything nefarious. They're not going to do anything scandalous. They're not data mining me in any way because Microsoft Microsoft, I inherently trust Microsoft because I run Windows. I have to trust Microsoft and Google. I mean, they're the company that basically tells you that they're not evil. They say that up front. Hey, we're not an evil company. And, you know, they're not going to lie, not on the Internet. Now, the reason I use both Bing and Google is because you get totally different search results in Bing as you do from Google. And, you know, it's nice because you get totally different viewpoints, opposite viewpoints on some subject matter. So it really makes you think which set of search results are actually true and which ones are... <laughs> misinformation or outright lies in some cases. And I love that about using those two search engines. They really keep you on your toes. They don't make it easy for you. And in the end, they really make you do your own research to find what is actually the truth and what is Mm, sort of the truth. Next up, hey WT, which browser do you use? Well, this is a really painful topic for me because I really loved 
Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer, I think, was the best web browser ever made. And of course, Microsoft decided to deprecate Internet Explorer and create Microsoft Edge. And Edge is just another Chromium based browser. And I, I don't want that. I wanted Internet Explorer because it was unique. It was innovative and you know Microsoft in the end because they were spending all their time making Microsoft Edge they just deprecated Internet Explorer one day they just turned the thing off you can't even use Internet Explorer anymore now you're forced to move to Edge on Windows and you know in some ways I, I can't be mad at Microsoft because I know they have my best interest at heart when they make these kinds of software decisions for me. They're doing it for my own good. They don't want me to put myself at risk by using old software, deprecated software. And that's what I really love about Microsoft. And the final question on this episode of Hey WT is, Hey WT, have you ever installed Linux and tried it out? Heck no, I would never run Linux. Well, I don't hold a PhD in computer science or engineering. You know, I'm not one of those tech nerds, right? Plus, Windows is so much easier. Windows doesn't make me compile my own kernel. I don't have to worry about things like make flags or use flags or whatever the hell those things. They really should be called abuse flags, right? Because they abuse the user, making a user have to go edit a config file unnecessarily, in my opinion. Heck, even the creator of Linux himself, that Richard guy with the beard, he doesn't install Linux himself. He always hires other people to install his Linux for him. Uh, I've never installed GNU slash Linux. So install Linux? Not on my machines. I run Windows. Now, is Windows the ultimate triumph in technology? No, but Microsoft sure as hell knows how to market it.